Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, writer, nerd, and sometimes web designer. Uh, well, mostly do the writing. Oh, especially over at Website Planet, where today we're talking about constant contact. Constant Contact is an email marketing platform designed to help you grow your business, market your products, and so on and so forth. And, well, this is it. <laughs> this is where we start. This review is largely based on my own experience. I actually wrote a whole more detailed review, the link to which you can find down in the video description. In that review, you can find a more complete picture of the this whole service uh, with uh, more details about its features and all of that stuff. So if this video catches your interest, I strongly suggest that you click that link down below and read the full review to get an idea of uh, if, whether or not Constant Contact is right for you and your business. All right, without further ado or delay, let's get right into the features. The campaigns are how everything gets done. Everything you do is not just emails, automation, social posts, ads, events, landing pages and websites and stores all fit under the, the banner of campaigns in Constant Contact. And yes, you can build websites and online stores. We're not going to be getting into that so much in this, uh, in this video review, but you should know it's an option. And uh, but let's stick to what you're here for. Let's stick to the emails. Well, we'll click that just for later. But let's have a look first at the templates. Some of them look a little bare bones, a little plain, but some of them also look quite good. It gives you options between picking between a, a, a you know a, de a decent modern design or something a little bit dated, frankly, a bit 90s, or starting from scratch and just, you know, building whatever sort of design you want. You can also custom code your own templates and import PDFs to email, which I, I don't, I'm not sure quite how that works, but it sounds cool. Um, this is the template I chose for a draft I was uh, draft uh, email I made. Oh, no, they don't look so bad. This one in particular, I, I kind of like the graphic they used. Anyway, the actual uh, design, uh, the, the actual editing app, it's pretty interesting. You can customize your overall fonts and colors from here. Nice stuff. You can, you know, upload images to be used anywhere you like here. That's my cat, Cleocatra. She's amazing. And you can actually, you actually uh, can, you know, put images and text anywhere you want on the page. And you can actually um, add little bit, like these little pre-made layouts of content that uh, simplify creating like more advanced email designs. And, um, you know, not, not every uh, email editor actually has these. Some of them just stick you with the vertical layout and nothing more, nothing less. You also, you can also add action blocks. As, uh, you can add products from Shopify, products from WooCommerce, events from Eventbrite, polls, and apparently there are more options. Donations, coupons, SurveyMonkey. Mind you, some of these require a, a more expensive plan. But overall, the, the whole process of building emails is quick, it's streamlined, it's simple, and it looks good, most of all. I do enjoy that it looks good. So that's, you know, building your actual emails, but you need to send those emails to somebody. How does uh, Constant Contact handle, well, the contacts? Eh, it's not bad. You've got your very, you can make different lists of contacts, several lists. You can manage them you can add all sorts of information about them first name last name status details about them you can sort them by the various information you have on them where which source like did you get them from a contact uh, from a sign up form did were they added by you were they added by a third party all good stuff adding contacts is also really simple you can create them one at a time paste contacts in, upload from files. You can import them from other services like Google Contacts and whatnot. Uploading from, from a file is super easy. That's what I did. The service supports Excel files, VCF files, CSV, always a classic, and good old text files. As for where you can import contacts, you can import them from BigCommerce, the Constant Contact app, Google, Shopify, WooCommerce, and Zapier, which basically gives you access to a gazillion more services. You can use Zapier to integrate 
um, constant contact with pretty much anything. So you can also narrow down your contacts. You can you, you can add contacts to as however many lists you want, but you can also segment them with dynamic lists, or well, what are also called segments. Basically, you pick a criteria, and every time a new contact is added, if meets that criteria, it gets added to the list automatically. So, for example, if you want to focus on people who are engaging with your emails, you can choose people who opened any of your last five emails and clicked on any of the links in them. Let's see if I actually clicked any links in my test emails. And I have two test accounts that actually meet those criteria. But if I were to go to my test accounts, open another email, and click on a link in it, I can be sure that it would update this list with that, you know, that other test email. It's cool stuff. Segmentation is awesome. I love it. Now let's go back to automation. Let's see. Name this series. In the series in this case means like a series of events or steps. So we'll just call it series one. And select an email trigger. So if a trigger is if someone opens the email, then this automation will trigger. What what what? Like it can, like if someone opens this email, it, it'll wait four days, and then I can send an email, another email. This is very basic automation, but basically it allows you to create a series of emails sent to people under certain conditions. However, this is not very advanced. There are other uh, automation systems that allow you to do some rather impressive things, such as um, uh, you know, like abandoned cart emails and so on. This honestly seems very. <laughs> Very simple. Honestly, though, it could be better. It, it could be better. Next up, we get to the reports. The reports are pretty simple. You get information on their various campaigns, how many people opened the emails, how many people clicked on the emails. Uh, you, get, you can see some trends over the past 12 months or the past week or however many you choose. Uh, you can go look at individual reports for a little slightly more details, and you can see, you know, which links they clicked which links were more, you know, popular. Uh, frankly, the reporting is, it's okay, it's decent. Could be better though. One thing that is definitely cool though are the integrations and the add-on apps. You can integrate co Constant Contact with Shopify, with BigCommerce, with eBay, with Eventbrite, and basically um, use any of these apps as triggers to send emails to people, which is very, very useful stuff. Zapier lets you integrate, you know, uh, constant contact with apparently 258 pages of different services. <laughs> so, you know, you're covered. You're covered. All right. I need to quickly go through some features that cannot be easily shown on screen. Sorry, that hair keeps coming down. Anyway, um, deliverability. Constant contact is take, uh, spam pretty seriously. This is important because if constant contact didn't take spam seriously, then any um, email you send through constant contact would be unlikely to reach its destination because the, all email systems depend on reputation that way. Constant Contact also has DKIM authentication, basically an encryption that lets your your uh, that lets email servers know that the, all these emails are really coming from you. There are some features that are missing. Constant Contact did not prevent the importation of some spammy addresses that I uploaded on purpose, but and this is a good thing. My account uh, about half an hour later, my account came under review. I had to talk to support and tell them, okay, I uploaded those emails on purpose to show you, uh, like to see how the your security systems handled things. So that was good. But affiliate marketing is not available here, which could be a good thing if you're not an affiliate marketer yourself. But you can't get a dedicated IP address, which is sad. Like not on any plan, you can't get dedicated IP addresses. Uh, support was pretty decent. The support team was mostly fantastic. Uh, you can get support through phone, uh, phone, live chat, and good old email submitted via form on the website. My experiences were good. Uh, it was largely quick and painless. I got my responses fast for the most part. So support was decent. Next up, the pricing. Ah, oh, man. Constant Contact's prices are not bad, but they're not exactly inspiring either. You can get... You can get better pricing elsewhere. You can get more features 
less missing features. There's more on that in the written review. Again, link below. Um, elsewhere, in, in most of the other email uh, marketing services I've reviewed, in fact. So, you know, it's not bad, but you can get better deals, frankly. All in all, I'd say Constant Contact was all right. It has its basic features locked down. Its beginner experience is very streamlined. So, you know, for newbies, uh, I'd actually kind of recommend Constant Contact. It's not so bad, but uh, they might quickly outgrow the limits of the feature set. Uh, if you want more advanced features for the money, go with either Send in Blue or Get Response or one of those. And that's my review on Constant Contact. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it educational and maybe even fun. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.